Um, one of the other things I was going to ask you was, uh, and I, I, this is what I was saying, planting the seed uh, when you're talking about, you were thinking about transferring. And this is a little bit difficult because you got to try to put yourself back in the mindset of what you were, where you were back then. But, it, you know, another thing with COVID is that the transfer rules have been relaxed even since the time that you left school. Um, you likely wouldn't have had to sit out or anything else like that. You could have you know, gotten another year of eligibility if you were coming up, you know, now. Um as much love as you have for Dayton, do you think that at that point in time, that if you, if you were similarly situated at this point in time coming up, do you think that you would have transferred out? With the rules now, like you said, that where you can leave and don't even have to sit out or you get a, you know, you don't have to waste a year or anything like that. I don't know, man. I'm glad it wasn't happening. It wasn't the case at the time because I would have missed out in a, in a lead eight appearance. But I just remember that last game after my junior season, I was just so fed up. And I saw my mom and dad, they were like, we're transferring, we're getting out of here. And I've never been that guy. So I, like when I start something, I usually stick it out. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want to disappoint Dayton fans, so I'm going to say no. And that's that's <laughs> fair. I, I think it's one of those things that uh, <clears throat> you've really got to evaluate what, what the rules <laughs> are now. And I mean, for instance, I was not an athlete in college. And I thought about transferring at one point in time. And so I think I have a lot of sympathy for people that do wind up transferring because, you know, yeah, everybody sees the basketball player, the baseball player, the soccer, whatever it might be. But they also don't see that, like, you know, there's also a person, there's a student and everything. Like, there's a lot of stuff that you're balancing. And I just think it would have been interesting, you know, whether it would have been the ultimate decision, whether whether it would have been good for you or not. I think that it kind of does pose a little bit of a different question for people and that it does make it easier for better or for worse. Absolutely. This, I remember when that rule change happened, I was like, guys don't even have to sit out now? It's like, man, that's used to, That's why you see it now. The transfer portal is like, I remember that first year it happened, it was boom, boom, boom. Everyone was just moving around. And sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. But a lot of times, some guys have transferred and that ends up getting them opportunity in NBA. You know what I mean? Yep. Well, I and, think it's I good. Mean, I, I do. T- I kind of intend to agree with it. It, be, it can be whatever somebody makes of it in everybody's individual situation. But the other thing is I've kind of wondered about, and I don't know, maybe I'm sure somebody will probably tell me why I'm wrong. But one of the things I've kind of wondered is like, even if you're happy with their situation, I think that you, if you can still be in the transfer portal and still continue to play, why wouldn't you just put your name in the transfer portal and then just basically see what comes? See what comes. Absolutely. And now that I'm older and looking back on my time as a college athlete, don't get me wrong. We were treated very well. Uh, one thing I miss most is training table, which is the meals after, after practice and everything. I miss that a lot, <laughs> but I mean, our schedule was rigorous, man. We were every single day. S- thankfully I was a good student, so I didn't have a ton of study hall, but study hall weights, class practice weights, study hall, you know, I think guys deserve that opportunity to kind of explore and, you know, this is on a personal account because I experienced it. Right. But it's, I don't know. It's a, it's a fine line because you start paying guys. I know in college, all I want to do was buy shoes and get some tattoos. You know what I mean? So you got to be careful with it. It's kind of like it's, there's an in-between it's a fine line, but, I think the players do definitely deserve to have more of a, a say in, you know, kind of where their career goes. 